the elbow and the shoulders. And that's what Oscar needs. Compu box numbers in round three. Morales 31 out of 69 for 45 percent. Velardis 11 out of 77. You have to admire Velardis's bravery in still trying to throw 77 punches when he's getting hit so hard on the counters by Morales. Harold, how do you have it through three? <laughs> okay, Jim. 30 to 26. Three rounds to nothing. Eric El Terrible Morales. You know, Jim, you got to give him an extra point for the knockdown in round one when, when he threw that fake with the left with the right hand and dropped him with the left hand. But Eric Morales is throwing so hard that every time he lands a left hand to the head, Bobby Boy Velarde's his head snaps back. When he lands a body punch, he virtually doubles over Velarde's. I mean, you can see the power in Eric Morales' punches. Velarde's <laughs> mouth is wide open. Body punching, jabs are starting to get him. There, and yet there is now blood coming from the left nostril of Morales. With his long arms and his angular frame, Velardis kind of swarms Morales and wraps himself around him. But now with precise counterpunching in combination, Morales Four. deftly Five. knocks Velardis to the, to the floor. Seven. Eight. Okay. That was a six-punch volley. This is when I told you someone should save him with the towel now because if the oh, ring gets no, knocked no, down, no. he's going to tell the ref, yes, I'm okay. Very convincing okay from Velardis. You'll never expect the boxer to say he's not okay. You can forget that. Velardis isn't throwing back. Here's the second knockdown of the round, the third knockdown of the fight. And Kenny Bayless, I think, should pay attention to the fact that Velardis didn't really throw a punch in that sequence. You okay? You want to fight? Come to me. Morales is about three feet away and ready to jump. He knows there are only six, 15 seconds left in the round. You know, it's interesting. Velarde's doesn't seem dazed so much as just hurt. He's just hurting all over. The very game Bobby Velarde's manages to make it out of round four. Bobby, come on, sit down. Okay. The body punches are really hurting Velardis. Among other things. This is just an honest workhorse fighting a thoroughbred. And the workhorse has just gone about as far as he can go. As Morales just is throwing hard pinpoint shots. Early on in the fight, Morales was too impatient to get this kind of work done. Now he's slowed down just enough to measure Velardis and place his punches where they matter. So a slightly more relaxed Eric Morales getting closer to terminating his affair with Bobby Boy Velardis. And maybe his love for the featherweight division. Oh, I don't think he has any love for making 126 pounds. Love that ain't. Well, it's brought him a lot in boxing, and it will be a, it's not a tearful farewell, we can say that. But as George suggested earlier, some fighters are always going to have trouble making weight. My guess is Morales will have difficulty making 130 after he goes up to 130. He can go up to 147. He's still going to find <laughs> rough to make 147. Just that kind of guy, huh? Yep. Well, I'm thinking about Alexis Arguello, who is also a rangy featherweight. Moved up to 30, then 35, then 40. Giving up a little punching power each time. 
Kenny that's, Bayless has seen enough now. That's when they get hurt. When they get these long beatings like that one punch after another. Fourth knockdown of the fight, first knockdown of the fifth round, and a knockout victory for Eric Morales. A workmanlike. Look, he's standing over. over him with his fist up for the camera, which is not, that's no taste at all. Unsportsmanlike. That's terrible. I thought he was a good guy. Well, that must have something to do with the so called revenge motive against Velardis for coming down to Tijuana and behaving in such a way that the Moraleses were infuriated. They thought Velardis was when you disdainful know you, you, of Tijuana. You shoot, you shoot the deer as the replay. Yeah, here's the replay. But those punches didn't do it. It's been done. Accumulation of punishment from all the rounds this happened before. happened a lot earlier. And it makes you wonder, Jim, whether he was just trying to punish him through those early rounds because of his emotional feelings about the kid. And this is when the fighters get hurt when a guy start pinpointing body shots, head shots, and don't try to finish you off. Yeah. Good stoppage by Kenny Bayless. Certainly there was no competitive issue. It was abundantly clear who was going to win the fight and how. Just a matter of time. Yeah, those hunters, once they get a deer or an animal down, then they hold them up, stand over them for a photograph. That's the kind of thing he just did over our, his opponent. You wouldn't that, approve of it in hunting, and you don't approve of it in boxing, right? Yeah, well, I'm not going to say with hunting. You can eat the meat. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Michael Buffer for official particulars on the knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Kenny Bayless calls a halt to this contest. The official time, one minute, two seconds of round number five. The winner by TKO victory and still the WBC featherweight champion of the world, Eric El Terrible. <laughs>